Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Good Garvey Day to my continental Africans. Good Garvey Day to my Australian Africans. Good Garvey Day to my Canadian Africans. I will see you October 4th through the 6th. Good Garvey Day to my European Africans. I will see my British Africans October 21st through the 27th. Good Garvey Day to my Caribbean Africans, my South American Africans, my Central American Africans, my South Pacific Africans. Good Garvey Day to my Texas Africans, my Arizona Africans, my Utah Africans. Good Garvey Day to my Montana Africans, my North and South Dakota Africans, my Minnesota Africans, my Nebraska Africans, my Illinois Africans, my Michigan Africans, my Ohio and Pennsylvania Africans, my Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New Hampshire Africans, my New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania and Delaware Africans, my Maryland, D.C., Virginia Africans, my Missouri, my Kentucky, my Tennessee Africans, my Georgia and Carolina Africans, my Florida Africans, my Alabama Africans, my Arkansas Africans, my Mississippi Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Los Angeles Africans, my Compton Africans, my South Central Africans, my Sacramento Africans, my Oakland Africans, my San Diego Africans. This is the Prince coming to you live and direct from Hollywood, California. Coming to you live and direct from Hollywood, California. Coming to you live and direct from Hollywood, California. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. I want to talk about the Tyreek Hill situation of the Miami Dolphins. I want to talk about the Tyreek Hill of the Miami Dolphins situation. I wasn't aware of what happened until this morning. I got some text messages yesterday. Obviously, I was interviewing with my brother, Nick Cannon, so I wasn't aware of what was taking place, but I want to talk about this. First of all, brothers and sisters, especially to my American African family, I already told you that we're about to go through a triple ancestral eclipse and a Pluto return in Aquarius. I told you revolution was coming. I told you that there will be an intensification of conflict and drama over the next 200 years. I told you the last time Pluto was in Aquarius, we had the American Revolution, the French Revolution, and the Great Haitian Revolution. What we saw with Tyreek Hill was a snapshot of things to come. What we saw with Tyreek Hill was a snapshot of things to come. What we saw with Tyreek Hill was a snapshot of things to come, but I wanna go a step further and I wanna go a level deeper. I want to go a step further and I want to go a level deeper. I want to go a step further and I want to go a level deeper on this Tyreek Hill situation. I want to talk about the elephant in the room that no one is discussing. I want to talk about the elephant in the room that no one is discussing. I want to talk about the elephant in the room that no one is discussing. So Tyreek Hill is on his way to the Hard Rock Cafe Stadium for the Miami Dolphins football game. It's football Sunday. He's on his way, three hours before game time. He gets pulled over by Miami's finest. Now, he was a little argumentative. He was. He was a little arrogant. He was. But here's the situation. If Tyreek Hill was a Caucasian, does he get pulled out of his car? Because I see a lot of the Neanderthal nation in the chat. I see the Neanderthal nation in the chat saying things like Tyreek Hill calls this. This is what Neanderthal nation is saying. Neanderthal nation is saying Tyreek Hill caused this. So my question to the Neanderthals in the chat, if Tyreek Hill was a Caucasian, does he get treated the same way even if he did what he did? If Tyreek Hill was Tom Brady, 
If Tyreek Hill was Dan Marino, if Dan Marino reacted to the police the same way that Tyreek Hill did, does he get pulled out of the car? I think we all know the answer to that question. I think we all know the answer to that question. Without question, there is a double standard in the police treatment of black people vis-a-vis -vis everyone else, especially white folks. Especially white folks. Now, if they need to pull Tyreek Hill out the car and arrest him for refusing to comply with officer directions, then put him in handcuffs, put him in a paddy wagon, he's off to the station, he gets booked. But that's not what happened. That's not what happened. Okay, you had to get him out the car and handcuff him for not following police orders. So be it. Handcuff him and take him to the station. Why was it necessary to force him to the ground? Why was it necessary to force him to the ground? Why was it necessary to lay him on his stomach on that hot ass Miami sidewalk concrete? Why was it necessary to lay Tyreek down on his stomach on that hot ass Miami concrete? Why was it necessary to put a knee in Tyreek Hill's back? He was already handcuffed. He wasn't kicking anybody with his legs. He yelled out and told you, I just got surgery on my knee. And y'all still proceeded to force him down to the ground, hoping y'all would re-injure his knee. I'ma come to the elephant in the room in just a minute. I'ma come to the elephant in the room just a minute. So you force him down first on his bottom, then you force him on his stomach, and then you put a knee in his back. If he was Caucasian, he don't even get removed from the car. If he was Caucasian, he don't even get removed from the car. If he was Caucasian, he don't even get removed from the car. And then when his teammates roll up, when his teammates roll up, when Tyreek Hill's teammates roll up, y'all get nasty, disrespectful. Y'all forbid them from exercising their constitutional right to observe officers carrying out their duty. You cannot force them to get in their car and drive away. That was illegal. You cannot force them to get in their car and drive away. That was illegal. They have a right to observe police carrying out their duty. But you were so arrogant. So arrogant. So privileged. So used to treating black men like animals, you felt you could force them out. And when they didn't want to get in their car and drive away, you proceeded to arrest them as well. Tyreek asked the question. Tyreek Hill asked the question. He said, what if I wasn't Tyreek Hill? He said, what if I wasn't Tyreek Hill? He said, what if I wasn't Tyreek Hill? We all know the answer to that question, don't we? We saw the officers when they registered his driver's license and his name popped up. And one of the officers told the other officer, he's one of the star players of the Miami Dolphins. Did y'all see that part? That's when the energy began to shift. He said he's one of the star players of the Miami Dolphins. Did y'all see that part? That's when the energy began to shift. Now, you all know, like I know, no black man who gets handcuffed three hours before the football game is going to be released from custody before the game. So we know the white power structure picked up a phone and made a phone call. We know that the general manager of the Miami Dolphins picked up the phone and made a phone call. We know that the owner of the Miami Dolphins picked up the phone and made a phone call. Because Tyreek Hill is the, one of the top football players in the league, arguably the best. And he plays for the NFL slave plantation. He is a prized possession of the NFL corporate slave plantation. And him not showing up to the game will cause a whole lot of Fans of the Miami Dolphins to want their money back. They came for Tyreek Hill. He's the one selling out them games in Miami. If he was not a prized possession 
of the NFL corporate plantation, we all know what could have happened. But the bigger issue that nobody's talking about, the biggest issue that nobody's talking about is how they treated Tyreek Hill and his teammates. It's how they treat black men every day in Miami. Shout out to my Miami alpha males. Shout out to my Hollywood, Florida alpha males. Shout out to my Fort Lauderdale and my West Palm Beach alpha males. Black men in South Florida go through that every day. Black men across America go through that every day. But can I get to the elephant in the room? And y'all know where I'm about to go. Let me get to the elephant in the room. And y'all know where I'm about to go. They were not brutalized by white police. They were not brutalized by Irish officers. They were not brutalized by Italian officers. They were not brutalized by Jewish officers. They were not brutalized by British officers or French or Swedish American officers or Austrian or German officers. They were brutalized by Latino officers. I want my Kamala Harris crash out dummies to listen to me real close. I want my Donald Trump crash out dummies to listen to me really close. I want D.L. Hughley to listen to me really close. I want Steve Harvey to listen to me really close. I want Ricky Smiley to listen to me really close. All the Democratic Party plantation slave crash dummies and all the Republican Party plantation slave crash dummies, I want you to tune in right now. I want every American African to understand, overstand, and understand where I'm going right now. I want every American African to understand, overstand, and understand where I'm going right now. I want every American African to understand, overstand, and understand where I'm going. For 400 years, we have only had to worry about police brutality from Caucasians and Negropians. For 400 years, we have only had to deal with police brutality from Caucasians and their Negropean counterparts for 400 years. But under Vice President Kamala Harris, under Vice President Kamala Harris, and we've already seen this in Illinois, where my Illinois Africans at? Where my Chicago Africans, my Illinois Africans at? Because the governor of Illinois, not too long ago, signed legislations to allow migrants to become police officers. The governor of Illinois signed legislation to allow the migrants to become police officers. So what you saw with Tyreek Hill in the Miami-Dade Latino police, what you saw with Tyreek Hill in the Miami-Dade Latino police was a snapshot of what you're going to see all across black America, where we are being gentrified by the migrants. The migrants are now going to be carrying out police brutality against Africans for the white power structure. I said the Latinos are going to be carrying out police brutality for the white power structures. I said the Latinos are going to be carrying out police brutality on behalf of the white power structure. Now for my African Latinos, you are a part of the family. I'm not talking to you. For my African identifying Latinos, you are part of the family. I'm not talking to you. For my African Latinos, my Latino Africans, you are part of the family. I'm not talking to you. But for the anti-African Latinos who make up the majority of American Latinos, let us be honest. Most Latinos in this country are anti-African. So we're going to stop that people of color nonsense right now. We're going to stop that black and brown nonsense right now. What you saw with Tyreek Hill is a taste test. When Kamala Harris intensifies the immigration movement, when she brings more brown people into America to oppress black people, you're going to see more brown on black.
police oppression. Get ready. If Kamala becomes president, you're going to see more brown police. And as you saw with Tyreek Hill, they will treat black people the same way as white people treat black people. Y'all talking about vote for Kamala Harris. Vote for Kamala Harris. You out of your damn mind. Those Latinos were racist as hell against Tyreek and his teammates. And y'all want me to go and vote for Kamala Harris. She's going to bring more brown people to America to take your jobs and your neighborhoods and to oppress you through the police force. It's one thing to be mistreated by white folks. It's one thing to be mistreated by white folks. But now the white folks are going to weaponize the immigrants to mistreat you too. Now the white folks are going to weaponize the immigrants to mistreat you too. That Tyreek Hill situation was a snapshot of the future. Black America, all you Democratic Party plantation slave crash out dummies, please watch the Tyreek Hill video again. That's what you voting for when you vote for Kamala Harris. Latinos are now going to be killing black people in the name of the law. Latinos now are going to be throwing our children on the ground in the name of the law. And Donald Trump is no better. And I'm sick and tired of you Democratic Party plantation slaves bringing up Donald Trump's name whenever we want to hold the Democratic Party responsible for not doing anything for black people in 92 years. In 92 years. In 92 years. I'm sick and tired of you Democratic plantation crash dummies. What about Donald Trump? D.L. Hughley ain't pushing Donald Trump. Roland Martin ain't pushing Donald Trump. Steve Harvey isn't pushing Donald Trump. The NAACP isn't pushing Donald Trump. The black church isn't pushing Donald Trump. The divine nine isn't pushing Donald Trump. They're pushing Kabamala Harris. They're pushing Kabamala Harris. And since they're pushing them down our throat, I have an obligation to resist. I have an obligation to resist the propaganda of the gatekeeping slave army of the Democratic Party plantation. Oh, yes. Latino racism against African people. You saw it. You saw it. Tyreek Hill. You saw it. But nobody's talking about that. If you notice the Democratic Party plantation slaves, they will not mention that this was Latino on black oppression. They will not mention this was brown people mistreating black people. They can't bring it up because that's the Democratic Party agenda to replace black people with immigrants. So nobody's going to talk about the fact that this was Latino police brutality. Nobody's going to talk about the fact that this was Latino police brutality. Nobody's going to talk about the fact that this was Latino police brutality. They're going to ignore that because that will expose Kamala Harris. But Donald Trump is exposed as well. Donald Trump is exposed as well because he's not going to do anything about it either. Vote for what? Which one of them are going to deal with police brutality? Neither one of them vote for what is what I am saying. That's the question, brothers and sisters. That's the question that we got to talk about. I wonder if Kamala Harris or Donald Trump are going to comment on the Tyreek Hill situation. Because neither one of them plan to hold police accountable. They could care less about dead black people. Kamala Harris was a district attorney. She could care less. She was the top cop right here in California. Kamala Harris was the top cop right here in California. And she didn't reform any type of police brutality. She didn't reform any kind of police brutality. Nothing at all, brothers and sisters. We are on our own.
The only question is how long will it take for us to wake up and understand that the American African is on his own. We are on our own. And then you see all these white people acting so sympathetic. You see these Caucasians, Neanderthal nation, trying to act so sympathetic. They don't care about us. We get killed every day. They don't care about us, but they care about their investment, which is Tyreek Hill. They only care about her in their investment in Tyreek Hill. Let me move on to something else. Let me move on to something else. For all you hip hop ghetto gangster rappers. For all you hip hop gangster rappers who got a problem with Dr. Umar saying Eminem cannot be the GOAT because he's not African. For all you hip hop gangster rappers who got a problem with Dr. Umar saying Khalid cannot be the best DJ because he's an Arab. For all you ghetto gangster rappers who got a problem with me trying to gatekeep black culture. For all you hip hop ghetto gangster rappers who got a problem with me trying to gatekeep black culture. From the appropriation of non-African people. Let me tell you what the Caucasians just did to our sister Beyonce Knowles Carter. Let me tell you what the Caucasians just did to our beautiful African sister, Beyonce Knowles Carter. I just got the notification. The ancestors are working through Ifa Tunde. Listen to this. Beyonce receives zero nominations for her country album after being booed on stage several years ago at the Country Music Awards. Did y'all hear what I just said? Beyonce received zero nominations. They are gatekeeping country music away from Africans. They are gatekeeping country music away from Africans. They are gatekeeping country music away from Africans. Let me read. The nominations for the 58th Country Music Association Awards were just announced and fans are shocked after Beyonce's iconic country album, Cowboy Carter, dropped this past spring. Music fans of all different genres came together to celebrate Texas Hold'em and others from her album. However, the Country Music Association seemingly wasn't impressed and awarded Cowboy Carter a whooping zero nominations. While Morgan Wallen boasts a cool seven nominations, Cody Johnson and Chris Stapleton each received five nominations and rising star Lainey Wilson, new to the country scene, Post Malone, each were nominated for different awards. Beyonce, received zero nominations despite her song Texas Hold'em reaching number one on Billboard's Hot Country Songs chart. So let me get this right. Let me get this right. Beyonce had the number one country music song on the Billboard. Beyonce had the number one country music song on the billboard. Beyonce had the number one country music song on the billboard and got zero nominations for the country music awards. And y'all mad at me for saying Eminem ain't no goat in my culture. Y'all mad at me for saying DJ Khaled ain't no damn goat in my culture. And here you got white people gatekeeping Beyonce out of the country music scene. Make it make sense.
make it make sense. Understand, overstand, and understand. I only come to you with the truth. I only come to you with the truth. This isn't the first time Beyonce has received a cool welcome from the country music world. Back in 2016, her song Daddy Lessons she performed was, hold on. Back in 2016, she performed Daddy Lessons and was immediately the recipient of online backlash. They don't want no black people taking over their music, but they love to take over your culture. Don't you find it real interesting? Caucasians don't want you taking over their culture, but they love to appropriate your culture. And this is why when you see white people marrying black women in Africa, wearing our African clothing, our Nigerian clothing, wearing our Ghanaian clothing, our Cameroonian, Cameroonian clothing, our Togolese and Benin and Liberian, Zambian, Gambian, Congolese, South African clothing. Y'all think it's funny. Y'all think it's funny when the white folks dress up like black people and want to appropriate your African culture. They want to eat your food. They want to make rap music. They want to dress like black people. They want to blast your songs out of their car. They are disrespecting you to your face. They are disrespecting you to your face. Go and try to appropriate Jewish culture and see what happens. Go and try to appropriate Chinese culture and see what happens. Go and try to appropriate Irish culture and see what happens. Go and try to appropriate Arab culture and see what happens. You can't do it. Everybody appropriates black culture. And we roll out the red carpet. We roll out the red carpet for Eminem. We roll out the red carpet for DJ Culture Vulture Vlad. We roll out the red carpet for DJ Khaled. We roll out the red carpet for all these non-Africans to come and exploit us. But you can't do it to them. I ain't heard nobody criticize the Country Music Association. I haven't heard anyone criticize the Country Music Association. I haven't heard anybody criticize the Country Music Association. Brothers and sisters, I didn't invent racism, I expose it. I didn't invent racism, I expose it. And to my knowledge, Kamala Harris hasn't sat down with a full featured interview with a single black journalist. Am I wrong or am I right, brothers and sisters? Please correct me if I'm wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Please correct me if I am wrong. Has Vice President Harris sat down for a full feature interview with a black journalist yet? Can somebody please correct me if I'm wrong? Can somebody please correct me if I'm wrong? She's telling you to vote for her. She got these celebrity Negro pins telling you to vote for her. Has she interviewed, has she interviewed with a single black journalist yet? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Black America is going to have to get ready to start experiencing racism at the hands of people of color. Don't call yourself a person of color. Stop using people of color. Use black, use African, use American African, use African American, but don't you use people of color. Don't you use it. That will be the new weapon against African people. They're gonna say people of color don't believe y'all deserve reparations. People of color don't think America is racist. People of color think black people complain too much. People of color are your enemies. They are the new go-between. People of color are the new gatekeepers for the white power structure. Who do we vote for? <laughs> the question isn't who do you vote for, my beautiful African sister. The question isn't 
Who do you vote for, my beautiful African sister? The question is, what are you voting for? Not who do you vote for? That's the wrong question. What are you voting for? Stop asking who do you vote for? This is not about personalities. This is about policy, not who do you vote for? What are you voting for? Somebody tap in. I'm going to do a few tap ins before I get ready for my Nick Cannon interview. I'm going to do a few tap ins before I get ready for my Nick Cannon interview. Tap on in, brothers and sisters. This is the Prince coming to you live and direct from Hollywood, California. This is the Prince coming to you live and direct from Hollywood, California. Tap in, brothers and sisters. I'm right here. Tap in. Chris Build going twice. Chris Build going three times. Hello, peace, young prince. Where where are you calling from? Where are you tapping in from? I'm from Hawaii. You in Hawaii? I never been to Hawaii, so y'all gonna have to work to bring Dr. Umar out to Hawaii. Oh, you all gotta come Hawaii out, Africans. All my Hawaii Africans, I'm ready for Hawaii as soon as y'all ready for me. What are your thoughts on the Tyreek Hill situation? And what are your thoughts on Beyonce not receiving a single country music award nomination, although Cowboy Carter was number one on the Billboard country charts? How you feeling today, young brother? Talk to the people. Um, you know. That Tyreek Hill situation, um, you know, I was just reading about it earlier, and I feel I like need you the camera too much. Get in the camera, get in the camera, yeah. camera young blood. Hold on, hold on. Let me get, let me get presentable. I hope you tap in butt ass naked, young <laughs> lion. You be tapping in butt ass naked. This is not a rainbow thing. This is a red, black, and green thing. This is not a rainbow thing. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Well, yeah, you trying man. to hide your show bunny? What's going on? <laughs> Go right ahead, King. What do you think about the situation? Yeah, no, nah, it, it happens way too much. You know what I'm saying? Especially out here in Hawaii, you know, I'm seeing that shit happen like a lot. And so this police brutality. I'm not really seeing Hawaii. other other reported on it. Just like from the NFL, I'm mm -hmm. not really seeing it anywhere else. Okay. It's really, I'm seeing it on the NFL. Beyonce not winning a single country award is insane, by the way, just because um, she makes so much good music. And I'm also not like seeing her anywhere else. She's not getting any coverage. Yeah. 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 So tell me, what, what's, what's the biggest challenges for black people in Hawaii? Tell me about the racism out there. How does it manifest itself? Is it just like the mainland or is it somewhat different? Well, I mean, there's not really a lot of black people out here. It's like a really small amount. Okay. But People just feel real comfortable saying anything to you out here. Get out of here. Yeah. Now, ask me, uh, the public schools, most of the teachers are what? Are they mostly Caucasian out there, too, or something else? Um, more Hawaiian. It's like real diverse, kind of, I would say. Now, the Hawaiian people, how do they treat black folks out there? Not I too mean, good. It, it, I really just depends on who you're talking to at the, at the end of the day. It just depends who you're talking to. Okay. And you ask absolutely sure you didn't tuck your snow bunny in the closet or under the bed, not right? Here right now, eh? <laughs> Oh, man. Bunny hopped. I'm out, young prince. Stop. 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 We out, young prince. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. All right. Appreciate you. He stuck his snow bunny under the bed. What kind of nonsense is that? He snuck his snow bunny right under the bed. This is insane. Who tapping it? Vibe with key going once. Vibe with key going twice. Vibe with key. Hello. How you doing, beautiful? beautiful. Where you based that, my sister? I didn't think you was going to answer my call. Wait a minute. Oh, look I'm at playing. that beautiful princess. Where you based that, my sister? Hi, I'm in Las Vegas. Las Vegas. I'm yes. in Hollywood on you right now. What is your opinion on the Tyreek Hill situation as well as Beyonce not getting a single country music award nomination, although she had the number one uh song on, and possibly album on the country music charts 
What do you think about Angel Reese having a season-ending injury? Should she still get Rookie of the Year in the WNBA? Or is racism going to deny her for Caitlin Clark? What's your take, my sister? Okay, let me start um, with Miss Beyonce. So I feel like for what she's done in the time she's put, she definitely should have got nominated. And for her just being so influential as she is, I just feel like they pick and choose, you know what I'm saying, who they want to showcase certain things and be like, you know, prevalent in it. And since it's being country music, I feel like they definitely just, you know, wanted to bypass her and say like, Beyonce, basically not give her her credit pretty much for what she's done for, um, you know, her community and stuff. I feel like it's, it's more to it, honestly. You know, when it comes to dealing with us black folks, when we try to step out of our norm. And, and how, you how do you suppose that with the fact that you have all these hip hop artists, rappers who have a problem with Dr. Umar saying that we should be gatekeeping hip hop, that Eminem should not be considered no GOAT, DJ Khaled should not be considered no great. I agree. I definitely agree. I feel like with everything we do, it's like somebody's always coming to, you know, take that throne from us or just take the rug right up under our feet. And it's like, we don't ever get the proper, you know what I'm saying, representation or the proper, um, you know, um, how do I say, praises for the things that we do and our creation of things. It's like, here comes somebody else that's not our color or, you know what I'm saying, they are doing the same thing we're doing, but they get more praises and things. I feel like a lot of things should just be strictly for us and they can do them, you know what I'm saying? So it's like the times that we live in, a lot of things are being acceptable because I feel like, people are trying to not have such this conflict, but at the end of the day, it's like, we all know how these people feel about us. Like, gotcha. behind closed doors, you know what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Behind closed doors, when they with their family, they're able to express, even in our faces. So it's like, when are we gonna wake up and really take things for account? Like, police system, they don't care about us. None of these people care about us, take you know what I'm saying? So this is our- Hill, Queen, what yeah, is with take on the Tyreek Hill Latino police brutality and why is the Democratic Party and the Republican Party so quiet about the fact that it was Latinos who did this to him? Um, Because I feel like they're, they're on their team. You know what I'm saying? I watch a lot of you, Dr. Umar. So when you explain things and how you say like, the, you know, they're trying to eliminate the black and bring in the brown, I feel like that's definitely what they're doing. So they know who they, who's on their side. You know what I'm saying? And it's never going to be like how we want it, honestly. So it's yeah. like, if it's not, if, it's, if it has nothing to do with another black person putting harm to another black person, it's not gonna be a uproar or, you know what I'm saying? Something that's looked at as, why are we doing this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gotcha. So it's like the more people know and the more they understand that there are sides in this world and we're not sided and we're not really the first pick, but everybody wants to do what we do and how we have, then it's like we'll start to wake up to more of the injustices that we're going through and how the brown people are being put over us and we are all pretty much the same people, but it's like the the divide and conquer tactic. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for that, sister. And I of wanna course. know I wanna let you know that I will be speaking in Las Vegas. I'm coming. Yes, November I'm coming. 20th. Second. Yes, sir. I will All be right, there. Queen. Thank you so yes, much. Sir. Thank you so much, Dr. Umar. I love, love you. Queen. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, thank you. All right. It's tapping season. King Kong consciousness. We standing with Tyreek Hill. We standing with Angel Reese. Hold your head up, Angel Reese. You still need to be co-MVP. You feel me? Beyonce, we standing with you, Beyonce. Hold your head up, Queen. Brother Mike going once. Brother Mike going twice. Brother Mike. Cancel him out. Who want to tap in? Kings and Queens, it's time to tap in. Kings and Queens, it's time to tap in. Who tapping in? King Kings and Queens, I want to know your opinion on the racial climate right now. 
you requested a call, you're not getting no call. I don't call people, family. Hello. Peace, King. How we doing? Good. How are you? I'm all right. Will you stop hiding your face, my brother? Are you an agent? Where you no, based that, King? Where you based that? In Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. What's your opinion, my brother, on what's going on? All these different issues from the Tyreek Hill being brutalized by the Latino police to Angel Reese, season, season engine injury, Beyonce not getting a single country music award, although she had the number one song. Uh, where you at on this, my brother? I feel like you're completely right with uh, um, what you said about them using Latinos and other migrants to basically abuse us. Like they're training them in the same way. Well, they're training them in the same ways that they've used to like in the past to abuse us. So it's like basically, I, I don't know what we can do as a race. I'm kind of scared to be honest. <laughs> what, we got to organize. You know? blood don't get scared we got to organize yeah of course but it's like damn like so long we've been facing this shit it's like kind of unbelievable now what's going down what, what's going down in atlanta you know what, what's what's the racism down there because they always try to paint atlanta like there's no racism down there that black people in control of everything but that's not what the statistics bear how yeah. does the race present itself in atlanta against black folks yeah i mean like i'm originally from like new york like new york city and the racism out there is like heavy as hell like when i came out here it's like a safe haven compared to being out there like it feels much more safer for black people out here than a lot of other places okay okay so does that mean you don't really see any racism out there at all not really like i mean it's a bunch of black people you say something about black people and there's like 20 black people in front of you nope. like you're getting your ass whooped you know what, I mean? <laughs> what about institutional racism economics criminal justice education police have you come across any institutional racism in georgia um with the police a little bit like there but it's and that's it's, it's hard to say is that like you know black men also get in positions of power and start to you know act that way okay you know and it's yeah yeah coons you know what i mean absolutely <laughs> like you said absolutely. Like... thanks for tapping in young blood be safe down there thank you All you right. too sir tap in with king kong tap in with king kong hbcu edward waters college i will see you thursday night the 26th at 7 p.m hbcu edward waters jacksonville florida pull-up season september the 26th Source of Knowledge Bookstore, Newark, New Jersey, Sunday, September the 15th. Source of Knowledge, Newark, New Jersey. I need to see you on the screen, family. If I, if I can't see you, we can't talk. Where you at? Oh. How you doing, <laughs> hey, how you doing brother? Where you based that, beloved? Uh, New York. New York. What borough? What city? Where you at? Uh, uh, I'm in Westchester West area. Chester. West All right. Chester, Bronx, Bronx, pretty much. I but I, I I just wanted to chime in because I feel like I'm not the most involved like politically and I don't know really know where to start. It's just so hard to like really trust anything. I would I was just kind of hoping like what would be your thoughts on inside? Like what do we do? Do we like trash both um both party systems? Do like like where do we go from here? It's just been such a long time that we don't trust what's going on with politics. So well, I was just curious. I trusting it's about the fact that we have a very long record of supporting both parties and getting nothing for it mm -hmm. you know uh, the republicans they gave us the 13th 14th 15th amendment the democrats gave us the civil rights bill and the voting rights act but that was 60 years ago what have they done since then besides work against us and strip us of our rights that our ancestors died for and give them to everybody except us these immigrants and these migrants and yeah you know gang, they are all benefiting from the struggle of black ancestors our ancestors didn't fight for immigrants they didn't fight 
for the Rainbow Army. That wasn't what they was about. They were not against them, but that was not what they were fighting for. But everything that we fought for is now being taken and used against us. They have literally weaponized our own benefits against us. I'll give you an example mm -hmm. of the 14th Amendment was created to give black people equal protection under the law. The 14th Amendment was created to give black people equal protection under the law. And now they're using the very same 14th Amendment that was created to give black people equal protection under the law. And they're using it to strip black people of the protection by saying it is reverse racism, reverse racism to give black people preferential hiring or preferential admissions in college. At the same time, they're giving migrants preferential hiring they're giving migrants preferential housing they're giving migrants yeah. preferential subsidy so at the same time they're saying you cannot do this for black people it's illegal they're doing it for illegals uh, yeah yeah it's it's um it's 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 just been like tugging at me just what direction do i go do i vote do i not vote uh, do we vote for the independent green the question, party? The question is not, do you vote? Do you not vote? What are you mm -hmm. voting for, my brother? What are you mm -hmm. going to get in exchange for your vote? It's not about who. It's a two-way relationship. It's a two-way relationship. You're right. Not a single promise from either candidate for black folks. Not a single promise from either candidate for black folks. And you got Negroes out here crashing out on the Democratic Party plantation front lawn, crashing out on a Republican Party plantation front lawn, organize or die. The strength is in the people, but the people have to be organized in order to actualize the strength, my brother. Hold on, B babe, you wanna say something? <laughs> Come on. Oh, what man. I wanna see Sean. Wait, well you done. don't wanna jump on? Uh, I'm gonna show my black queen right here. Those snow bunnies right here. Snow bunnies, how you doing, dude? <laughs> Good to see you there. God bless y'all. Black queens matter. Yes. Black yes. I forget my brother. Is she wiped out? No, 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 not yet. Not yet. Make sure y'all <laughs> invitation. I'm coming to the wedding in a three-piece tuxedo. King. All right. All right. All right. Wait, what do you think of Dr. Cornell West? I, I like Dr. Cornell West. I think he got a good heart. Okay. I think he's very intelligent, but because he is a bunny hopper, he's married to a sand bunny. I cannot vote for Dr. Cornell West. I love him, I but he can't. Uh, <laughs> well, I like that he, he's I always, I like that he's always stood up for us and, you know, always stood on his morals since yeah. his work from the beginning of time. Like but the thing is, if I vote independent, it's not going to matter in New York State anyway. That's yeah. how I so feel. In the presidential election, it does. All mm -hmm. votes matter in presidential. It wouldn't vote in a party primary, but the primaries are over. We know who the candidates are, Kamala mm -hmm. and Donald. So I'm independent. You can vote as an independent. Okay. No. Okay. All right. Well, All right. peace to you. Dr. Yeah, be, yes, Take thank care. you. Black power. Thank you so much, Dr. Moore. Peace and love. Thanks, bro. Right. That's what we're talking about. Black love matters. Black love matters. Black love matters. Sister Julia going once, Sister Julia going twice, Sister Julia going three times. Where you at, Sister Julia? I need to see your face, Queen. We don't do dark conversation. We don't do the dark matter, Queen. Where you at? I need to see you. Okay, um, beautiful. Where you based that, Sister Julia? You see me. I think you're why I can see you. Your Wi-Fi messing up a little bit with your big, beautiful eyes. Where you based at, my sister? I'm from Africa, Namibia. Namibia? Did you say Namibia? Yes, Namibia. I haven't been to Namibia yet. I haven't been to Namibia. I will be in Cameroon in December. I will be in South Africa in December. I will be in Ghana in October. I haven't been to Namibia yet, my beautiful African queen. What's going on with our people in Namibia? What are the challenges in Namibia? Elections as well. <laughs> What's going on with the elections? Do we have election fraud? Um, usually it's election fraud and I'm one of the people that have decided not to vote. 
Okay, so you're like Dr. Umar. You're not voting because you don't have nothing to vote for. Yes. Uh, talk to me about the uh, black women, Namibia. What's the state of black women? Are y'all protected, respected? Are y'all allowed to demonstrate your intellectual and entrepreneurial talents? Or are you suffering from sexism and male chauvinism? What is the state of my beautiful African queens in Namibia? Okay, um, we're allowed to participate on all levels. It doesn't matter what. And one of our candidates at the moment is a woman up against men in a presidential candidate uh, candidacy. But we are f facing a sort of femicide. In what way? Passion. Passion killing. What kind of killing? Passion killing. Pa oh, so men killing their women yes it's wow. very that rampant problem here, here in the two your american african brothers are also guilty of passion femicide we have to do something about passion femicide we're gonna have to start cutting nuts off that's what we're gonna do we're gonna start cutting <laughs> their nuts off you put your hands on a black woman we, we, we cutting your testicles off straight up straight up <laughs> we snatch your testosterone te sack we, we snatch them that's how we're gonna have to deal with it because we got to protect our black women. Are you a married sister or a single sister? I'm a single sister, I'm 27, and I've always wanted to speak to you. I'm, I'm so happy to meet you, Dr. Omar. Oh, the honor is mine, my queen. The honor is mine. I want you to send me a message on WhatsApp so when I do come to Namibia, I can make sure to invite you. Do you have my number, queen? No, not yet. Are you able to write it down where you are? Um, I can copy it down in the comment box. Okay, okay. Uh, so it's uh, I'm going to type it in here. So okay. it'll be plus one for the states, plus mm -hmm. one, and then it's two one five mm -hmm. nine eight nine nine eight mm -hmm. nine nine eight five. Five eight two one five nine eight nine nine eight five five eight. I want you to help me do some work in Namibia. I want to have a Namibian youth conference. Dr. Umar in the Southwest African Namibian youth conference. You ready to do some work? I can do that for you. Okay. Really? Okay. So make sure you send me a message. You can send it on WhatsApp or you can send it directly through text message. Whichever is most comfortable for you and we're going to get the work soon all right my queen i can do that for you okay thank, babe. You, thank you for tapping in and we're going to talk real soon don't forget to send me that message okay i'll do so right. um, okay caramel queen all right butter pecan have a good day mom. stay focused brothers i'm taking care of work stay focused brothers we're not dealing with the lower chakra stay focused brothers this is about organizing the youth of africa stay focused stay focused this is not about cinnamon this is not about caramel this is not about sweet brown sugar this is not about none of that this is about the work consciousness over the cookies politics over the punani revolution over romance institutions over intimacy, business before the bedroom. Who tapping in with the prince? Who tapping in next? Who tapping in next? I was not flirting, sister B B Melina. B Melina, I was not flirting. I'm organizing. Flirting and organizing are two different things. I was organizing. I was organizing Newark, New Jersey, Sunday, September the 15th, Source of Knowledge Bookstore, free book giveaway, 12 to 6. Dr. Umar speaks at two. Where are my New Jersey Africans? I want to see all my Jersey Africans on Sunday. Where the queen at? Is she tapping in? Going once, going twice. She's not tapping in. Cancel that out. Gots to get to Namibia, brothers and sisters. We gots to get to Namibia. Who tapping in? Who tapping in? Miss Hollywood going once. Miss Hollywood going twice. 
Where you at, Miss Ma Miss Hollywood? There we hey, go. how are you? How you doing? How are you? Beautiful. Where you based at? Pretty good. I mean, I'm still in Texas. You're in Texas? Um, or, um, what city? Uh, I'm in Austin. Okay. So what are your thoughts on some of the things we're talking about? Everything from Beyonce not getting a single nomination, despite having the number one song, Tyreek Hill, being abused by Latino officers and nobody's dealing with the Latino issue. Angel Reese season ending injury, which might disqualify her from getting the rookie of the year. The upcoming election, neither candidate has anything on the table for black folks, but the black bourgeoisie trying to make us vote. What's your thoughts on all these things? Um, so that was a lot. Um, well, for Beyonce, uh, I was expecting her to not get any nom nominations. Why? People forget. Well, when she, when she allowed Dipsy Chicks to release Daddy's Lessons and Performing on their tour, it was well regarded when people when white folk thought it was their, their song. When uh -huh. they realized it was actually Beyonce's, then I it was a problem. Know that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because well. yeah. she they toured it before she released Lemonade, well. so they had already performed it. So it was all like, why is she covering their song? So, but I think what she did used her platform and her power to uplift other artists. So now mm -hmm. we see Shibuzi got his nomination. Um, yeah, I, they did exactly what I expected them to do. I'd be curious if she actually did submit it for recognition, because on one hand, don't say we don't care about awards, but then you're still asking for that recognition. If she doesn't submit, to me, that's, that says a lot more. Oh. I think she should do the same thing with the Grammys. Don't submit for recognition, because we don't care. Um, with the election, I was strongly focused on voting against Trump again because he wants qualified immunity. So I'm like, stay away from that. Well, they already have qualified your... unity, immunity. He wants to give him absolute immunity. Well, absolute. Excuse me, I misspoke. Uh, sorry, I'm actually um, in Hawaii right now. So I've been up since 4 Oh, you're in Hawaii? The time to... Just working okay. and visiting. So, okay. um, yeah. So there's that. So I'm like, yeah, I'm lesser of two evils. I think I'm going to go with Kamala. I was really interested to what I've been hearing you say so far about that. Um, and then, yeah, that, that was my thought. Pamela, what do you expect? Is it just an anti-Trump vote? Or are you expecting her to do something? Because, you know, the Democrats are bringing in the migrants to replace Black people at alarming rates. Um, I mean, I don't see a pro on either side, but I was just wondering yeah. if there anything you might expect her to do that would benefit. Okay, no expectation. I've worked for the federal government now for about 18 years. So it's like the powers that be are going to, do what they do mm. um you know i'd like to see her try to get things done that are going to forward like women's issues and black issues but i think her hands are going to be tied because if we remember correctly all, everything has to still go with go um through like the senate and the house so well they can sign executive orders joe biden signed a whole bunch of them so not everything got to go through the senate and the house they can in enact you know presidential authority through the executive order they did that for homosexuals they did that for of the Asians, you know, they did it for the migrants, but when yeah. the black, but it's not popular. Yeah. It's not popular, and it's not in the establishment's best interest to support black people. So I don't expect her to do any of that. Yeah. Um, I, I definitely think her her nomination, her winning, is going to be more than the usual illusion of inclusion. Okay. So I do hope to see some backdoor things happen. I mean, I think I did see some things, you know, go well with Obama, although. It didn't look like he did much. He could, you know, again, what could he do besides executive orders? I think a lot of what he did and what she'll do is going to help the middle class, which will then help black folk. So, I mean, I think I hope it'll be more than the illusion of the usual illusion of inclusion. Um, What's your and then, like, with the time? threat, he'll thank God he wasn't shot. Yeah. Like, I am, and it's sad that I have, like, that's my first thought is thank God he wasn't shot. Um, definitely agree with what you said on using the Latinos against us. It's still crazy that in 2024, people will still say, oh, just comply. He shouldn't have rolled the window up. And it's kind of like, no, we watched Philando Castile comply. And that doesn't work for us. In an open carry state, people are calling the police saying a man's walking around with a gun. And my thought is, okay, well, what else is he doing? Because okay. you could legally walk around with a gun. So let's let that go. Um, I mean, also just having worked with athletes and having family members that played in the league, I don't understand why you're driving around yourself. Like, leave that with a driver. Give yourself as much plausible deniability as you can because you're rich, you're black, you're famous, you're an even bigger target. Because um, again, we don't get to just be fabulous and black. Like, that's, right. that's just that. That's right. And then with 
Caitlin Clark and Angela Reese, I'm not going to pretend to be like a basketball fan like that. I think it's definitely interesting that like we can watch like white people or non-black people commit a crime and the solidarity with white folk is amazing. Oh my God. It, but then when it comes to yeah. us, oh, because I've, I'm, there's a pl plenty of people, white folk, non-black folk, going to bat for Ka Caitlin Clark, aside from her actually being great at what she does. And it's like, do y'all really love this girl? Do y'all watch basketball? Or is it just, ooh, the next great white hope yeah. hype or whatever you call it. Um, I think Angel Reese is amazing. I love any black person in that type of position that represents us very well. And I mean, to that effect, I feel like our solid solidarity should be wrapped around her and she should win. Like, that's all. It's our sport. Mm -hmm. It's been our sport. Mm -hmm. I mean, I you know. Yeah, so, thank you, Queen. Thanks for tapping yeah. in. Yeah, and you know, there. see you when you're back in Texas. Yes, ma'am. I'm looking forward to it. And I will. All righty. Where you at in Texas? Yeah. You you just texted me. We talked about Dallas and Dallas. Um, Houston coming up. I'm in Dallas, yeah. October 12th. Yep. Got you. Okay. okay. Alrighty. Be blessed. See you then. Okay. Bye. Tap in, tap in, tap in, tap in, tap in, tap in. My Dallas Africans, October 12th. My Dallas Africans, October 12th. My Dallas, Texas Africans, October Proper way to contact me, Dr. Umar Johnson at yahoo.com, or you could text my phone, 215 989 9858. 215 989 9858. 215 989 9858. Mimi, where you at? Mimi going once, Mimi going twice. Where you at, Mimi? You got to get on screen. Stop being scared. You're beautiful. Where you at, Sister Mimi? I'm in Chicago. Chicago, Illinois. Shout out to all my Chicago Africans in the building. What's going on in Chicago, Sister, with the migrant crisis? Democratic Convention is over. Are they still bringing the migrants in? Do you see a difference? What's happening? What Brandon Johnson is up to? What the people doing? Are the brothers still taking each other out on the streets? We need a Chicago 411. Talk to me. Um, so I'm not going to pretend to know too much about it because I don't, but I do see that the migrants are taking uh -huh. over. So they're taking over all the jobs, the neighborhoods, everywhere you turn they around. Okay. So you say you can see them taking over the jobs? Yes, yeah, they Taking so like um a, a bunch of my friends like remember Trump was saying the um the black jobs yes and remember you spoke on um the security and um those type of jobs so they pretty much took over all of those jobs so people that I know that was like doing security and stuff mm -hmm. they um took all the black people out and they put all the migrants in, in the buildings and stuff okay wow wow. Is there any pushback going on? Pushback as far as what? The people organizing and trying to do something about it. Um, I haven't, I haven't saw or heard anything about any pushbacks. I don't pretty much see too many people um, doing stuff about it. I think it's like they just letting it happen. I feel you. And what about the black on black crime? Um, what is something? people outside of Chicago need to understand about the reports that we're getting about black on black crime. Is there any insight you can give us into why it's happening? Something that could simply be done to slow it down? You know, is it being, is it being intensified or exploited by forces outside of the black community? Uh, is it not as bad as it's made to look? What does your take? No, it's bad. It's not being exploited. It's it's actually happening. Um, honestly, I just feel like in Chicago, it's a lot of black on black crimes going on. But um, I don't understand why. I think they like. I think is a lot of it is like gang related. Okay. Okay. And what is your take on what happened with Tyreek Hill being uh, pulled over and abused by the uh, Latino police in Miami? Have you seen that in Chicago? 